So hey guys and welcome to the spotlight. When I say a reusable launcher, what comes into your mind? SpaceX? Maybe Blue Origin? But what if I say ISRO? This channel is everything related to space. If it's your kind of thing, be sure to subscribe. Yes, you heard it right. ISRO indeed had a reusable launcher under R&D. It was called the RLVTD, which expands to Reusable Launch Vehicle and TD stands for Technology Demonstrator. Yeah, it was a technology demonstrator, which means it was meant for testing. Now, if you're wondering why am I speaking in past tense, the test has already taken place. It took place on 23rd of May 2016. So yeah, it's a pretty old affair now. The RLVTD's uh, test flight was launched upon a HS9 solid rocket booster which was designed for a slow rate of burn. The flight began uh, at 7 in the morning and after exactly 91.1 seconds, the solid rocket booster burnt out at an altitude of about 56 kilometers. So yeah, it was quite high. Then the uh, RLV, the payload, uh, supposedly separated at this altitude and continued for another 65 kilometers. From there, the RLV started descending at a speed of about Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound, if you didn't know. The RLV started descending and survived re entry using its TPS, which stands for Thermal Protection System. It landed 450 kilometers downrange from Sri Harikota. And the flight lasted for about 770 seconds. Well, that was all the nerdy stuff about the mission. Now, let's get into some more interesting stuff. Well, if you look at the image of uh, the RLV, somewhere here or here, it looks quite a lot like the space shuttle. Yeah, the delta wings and most of the other stuff and as a whole the design too, looks quite a lot like the space shuttle. Uh, I cannot resist but admit that the Buran and the Space Shuttle, they looked quite similar to this. This mission, technologically, was the most challenging mission which ISRO had ever taken, at least on the launcher's part. And despite the fact, it was the most appropriate definition of perfect, with not a single anomaly, not any anomaly that the public knows of at least. When I say perfect, I mean it. Just look at the details of the mission. On the left are the expected details and on the right are the ones which were achieved. And oh look at them. Like the accuracy is unprecedented. And this is for all the haters who, who think that ISRO has not done anything. Well okay they weren't able to land the Chandrayaan on the moon but they successfully deployed the orbiter. And it has been sending valuable information since the RLVTD had a fuselage. And along with that, on that fuselage, it had two delta wings and twin vertical tails. It also had uh, elevons and rudders. So the aer aerodynamic control surfaces were just like the space shuttle. I told you. Well, so what did this test do for us? According to ISRO, it helped them test the hypersonic aerothermodynamic characterization of the body, which es essentially means the uh, heating effect of the friction due to air resistance on the body. It helped them test their integrated flight manager systems. It helped them test their uh, navigation systems and also the TPS, the thermal protection system. Remember when I said that it re-entered at Mach 5 and it survived re entry due to its TPS. All the command modules and any pods, so-called pods, which have to re-enter into Earth they obviously have to go to the atmosphere and there they suffer uh, heat, which is a lot of heat. And so they need to have something, something like a heat shield to protect themselves. And all these things are quite necessary in uh, making a reusable launcher. If you've been following the Starship updates, you surely know. So thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video. And if you made it this far, please, please leave a like on this video. The interaction which you do helps me grow my channel a lot. And if you watched this far, it's, it means you like the video. I'm assuming. 
and do leave a comment on what do you think about reusable launchers and isro and leave a comment on what you want me to do in my videos in future videos i have a lot of ideas but if you guys want me to do something i shall do it and also visit my patreon page patreon page become a patron so it helps me follow my passion and it also gives you exclusive benefits also check out my merch link in the description